or maybe you can use the uh, airbrush as well just uh, brew it If you are not familiar with the uh, brush paint, maybe the airbrush is also a very useful tool to, to apply the uh, basement coat. Uh, you can um, control equally the same um, thickness. Right? And you don't have to wait so long time until the enamel color uh, get dry completely. You don't have to wait until the you know uh, dry get uh, perfect. Uh, the half dry is fine. Uh, you don't have to. Uh, you don't need to uh, wait so long time. So we seen I think the couple minute, uh, which is like three, two or three minutes after that. The, uh, if you see the uh, surface itself is, seems to start to dry, uh, let uh, continue to do the another um, um, doing. I mean, so uh, the next, um, perhaps uh, you can use the, some kind of the bright color if I compare with the basement color. Uh, in this time, I use the uh, gray color, uh, bright gray color, because the under um, the basement color is pre pretty dark. Uh, the left is uh, uh, three or five, and the, the the other side is flat black. Or maybe you can use the glossy black or whatsoever. So in this time, I use the uh, number three one five, which is uh, lacquer color. Uh, you don't. You shouldn't use the acrylic color in this time. And in this case, uh, you don't. You shouldn't overcoat the uh, second color too much. If you brew the second color too much, um, the effect is you know is not. Uh, gonna be successful. So you just try to brew the uh, color itself is very uh, thin, not too thick as well. So you just uh, brew it, not not to you know, just brew a few times is fine, not too much. And this time also the same, not too much. Okay. Just, you know, a uh, few times. Brewing is fine. Okay. Just, you know, very roughly and very, you know, sink. And as soon as possible, um, you just don't have you you don't have to wait. Anyway, it's I think the speed is very important. Speed is it is pretty you know. important matter that you know from my experience so okay now is the time to the uh, special effect um, what am I going to uh, prepare is top and time oil top and time oil put the top and time oil a little bit Put some turpentine oil, 
before the raka pane dry very completely. So you need to hurry up the whole process. If the whole process um, takes the you know for a long time, maybe uh, this effect will not be success. So as you can see. The second coat of the lacquer paint will collapse and take the uh, color off, and and this one is pretty sensitive if I compare with the other tipping effect, and more like you know. Um, I don't know how do I say, but it's more like you know something like not the tipping. It's it's, it's kind of rusty um, paint surface. I think you know it's it's very funny figure that I ever done yeah this one is pretty you know easy to take that off right it's the the effect is pretty obvious so if the second paint of the rocker uh, whether it's sick or thin, I think the effect itself will be uh, changed a little bit. Okay, try that another one. Just, uh, just put some top and time oil first. Try to uh, melt the second coat off. So you need to, you know, it's take a time, right? Here is, you know, a little bit late, right? So it's sometimes it's very hard to take that off if you take a so long time. So you always count the uh, enough time, not too fast, not too late. Always time is very important in this process. But anyway, anyhow, uh, the surface will be uh, appear uh, if you're doing within the I think the uh, five or you know ten minutes. So I just use the uh, tipping frid, frid as enamel glossy clear color, right? But actually, um, the paint itself is so sensitive and very easy to take the whole color off if you want it. And very easy to handle it, right? So if you are, you know, if you already um, afraid of doing this, maybe you should doing some specific area, which is like you know, uh, red dome or some other, you know, very small area, is more, um, you know, comfortable. Uh, you are not afraid of that to 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 failure, right? Yeah, here is very obvious, right?
So ordinary, ordinary the uh, normal painting process is you have to wait until it get dry completely in each process, right? But in this case, our uh, you don't need to wait so long time. But if you wait so for a long time, um, you can the, the effect itself will not be expected. Maybe you will fail. So time is you know always important. Okay. You just uh, take that off the uh, unnecessary enamel color paint also using by the clear very uh, fresh turpentine oil as well even though uh, it's very uh, easy to take the color off so maybe you need to uh, retreat as very carefully so the the brush itself is pretty um you know messy <laughs> i use the old brush if you don't you don't have to use the very you know tight and strong brush you just use the very uh soft and nice very um not too high tough it's you know very soft brush is fine okay so if the paint if you are done the color itself is completely uh done effect is done uh, you need to coat with the uh, some kind of uh, clear uh, color to protect the uh, effect itself, right? So, you know, it's very easy to, uh, you know, damage, so you need to cover after you, you uh, if the, the color itself is dry completely, you need to wait until it gets dry completely. After math, you can use the, um, uh, protect the uh, color, uh, clear color, right? So. Okay, so just take cross to look how it's get done. <laughs> 